Everybody knows that I'm a hater with a list of enemies, but not all of my enemies I hate, okay? It doesn't go hand in hand. These things aren't mutually exclusive. I can have an enemy who I highly enjoy and highly respect, okay? And that is the topic of today's video. There's a band called Drain, and over the pandemic, they started taking the world by storm. And then when all the restrictions started to get let up, their shows were absolutely wild. And it was clear that this was the band that was going to explode. Now, I haven't been very shy. They didn't really enjoy all the videos that I did. And there's a little bit of drama back and forth, but that is not what today is all about, okay? Drain got signed to Epitaph, which is absolutely massive. This band has the chance to change punk rock, to change hardcore right now in the current year, and I think that they're actually going to do it for a whole bunch of reasons. And not only are they going to change punk and hardcore, they're going to open the floodgates for a whole bunch of great bands. So today, I'm going to go through the new Drain stuff, I'm going to go through all the bands that they're opening the gates for, and it's going to be a very exciting time. Now, I'd like to be a water under the bridge kind of guy. I'd like to be a what's done is done kind of fella. So that's what we're going to try to do here, okay? So, hey ladies, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood gatekeeper Dan Frampton here, and today is all about the strength of modern hardcore. The scene right now is absolutely insane, and it's being led, in my opinion, by this little band called Drain out of Santa Cruz, California. One of the reasons that I think that they're going to be the biggest band in the world is because their guitar player is really, really good and creates really, really catchy, really, really riffy, really, really thrashy riffs that are fun to just bash your head to, okay? And on top of that, it's just a very, very tight band led by potentially the best frontman to ever be a front man for any band ever, okay? The front man, his name is Sammy. I call him Slammy Sammy, and he is just the most charismatic guy that could ever exist, okay? You wouldn't assume that this guy would be screaming his face off. He looks like a very friendly man, he has a big friendly smile, and then he just gets on stage, starts bashing his head and playing air guitar. It's just the coolest thing in the world, and I think that he's just like such a magnetic personality that everybody's gonna be drawn to drain as soon as their epitaph release comes out. But about a month ago, they started to release their teasers. There's this song called Evil Finds Light that they put out, which is a great little video. It shows them demonstrating their acting chops. They get the guy, the drummer guy from God's Hate to play kind of like a, a talk show host, <laughs> this guy here, very good. And then they just go on and play some hardcore music. It sounds a little bit like this. Very good stuff, right? It's, it's just amazing. And a couple days ago, they put out this song over here called FTS KYS. Keep yourself safe. That's what that stands for. It starts with this little hip hop number, but then we get to see Sammy just driving his little Vespa here, just chugging along. He gets hit by this car, the car ends up taking him away, and I don't want to spoil the whole like theme and premise of this video. You should go check it out, but it kind of sounds a little bit like this. Ah, man, it's just so good. But you got you got to kind of hear uh, Sammy's voice, because I've been on about it, because he's just a great front man that sounds like this. It's just amazing. They're going to be the biggest and best band in the whole world, and the floodgates are going to open for their very close friends from the same part of the woods, okay? We're going to be talking about Scowl, because they released two videos here, and they're going in a little bit of a different direction for their new stuff. It's a little bit like heavy alt-rock kind of stuff. Kind of sounds just like garbage to me. Not like garbage, like but the, but the band garbage from back in the day, you know? That kind of stuff. But I know they're being very serious here because it's an ultra wide screen. You know a band is being a very serious band when they're presenting their music video in ultra wide screen. But it's not really a hardcore song. There's not a lot of screaming. It's a little bit melodic. So it's got Kat singing a little bit like this. Right, just singing along. But then at the end of the video, at the end of the song, you get, you get a little bit of the, the screamy vocals. Right? You know, you get a little bit of that kind of vibe going on. And I think that the more successful Drain is, is going to be the more successful Scowl gets to be. And this whole new accessible sound that they're going for might be a great direction for them. Because people are still moshing, people are still slamming to this sound. And then even more recently, they put out this video. And you know that they're being very serious still, because it's still in ultra-wide. 
wide screen. I don't know why you do ultra wide screen, but it makes me want to go out and get one of those really bendy monitors so I can watch it like that. But it sounds a little bit like this. All right, so you get a little bit of screaming right off the bat, but there are some melodic parts there in the middle as well. So you get a little bit of all the stuff going on here. It's some pretty good stuff. I don't know if I like it particularly as much as their last stuff, but I understand that that's a very cliche, pretentious thing to say. I just can't wait for Drain and Scowl to be putting out these records so I can come out with a full-fledged like opinion about the stuff, but I just am very excited about the way things are shaping out. And they're opening up the floodgates. Like I was saying, these floodgates are opening up for bands like Weapon X, okay? Weapon X just teamed up with World of Pleasure for a split called Weapon of Pleasure. And golly, this is some of my favorite music I heard so far this year. If you're not familiar with Weapon X, it's kind of the straight edge project of some of the guys from Knocked Loose. And then World of Pleasure is just this like super straight edge, super vegan band from Canada. And together here on this split, it's absolutely amazing. It's not only like two bands doing their own separate songs, they're like featuring on each other's songs and it's goddamn cool to see. Sounds a little bit like this. Oh, those vocals are unreal. So fiery. But then we're going to be moving on to the first full length of this video, and that's this Zulu record, A New Tomorrow. This thing has hip hop influence. This thing has power violence. This thing has R&B. This thing is like so inspired and so well executed that I can't even believe that it exists, okay? These things shouldn't exist all together, but they do on this record so well, so beautifully. And I've said it before, this is one of the coolest, most important bands going right now. <laughs> So unbelievably good. And then another full length that came out. It's a little bit shorter of a full length. It's only about a 19 minute long album, but it's Big Laugh Consume Me. Now I was hotly anticipating this record and it did not disappoint. I am a big fan of it. Oh my God, just fast, aggressive, punky, fucking hardcore shit. Just gotta love it. Absolutely unbelievable. And this blown out album cover, it's beautiful. This is absolutely my kind of stuff. And then we're gonna move on to a Canadian band, a brand new Canadian band called To The Bone and their new song, their only song, their first song, this thing called Serve and Project. You gotta promise me, you're gonna go seek this one out out of all the other ones, okay? Next band that I'm so excited for is this band called Gel. Now they have this thing called Honed Blade. It's a little bit of a music video, a little bit of a song, a little bit of a single, okay? And it's kind of weird that hardcore bands have videos and singles in the year 2023. It's kind of a new phenomenon. Hardcore bands didn't really do this kind of thing, but I'm very glad that they're utilizing the internet to like promote themselves in this way. <laughs> Now, to the last band that I want to direct you towards, my favorite set of tracks that came out so far this year is this EP from One Step Closer called Songs for the Willow. Now, if there's ever been a spiritual successor to Title Fight, it is this set of songs right here. Now, that might be saying that like, okay, yeah, they're from the same town and they're pulling from the exact same influences, but these tracks rule. <laughs> I absolutely adore these tracks. So yeah, Drain getting signed to Epitaph is pretty sick, and I really do hope it opens up the eyes to all the amazing bands that exist over here right now. American bands, Canadian bands, there's so many sick, dope, awesome bands that people should be listening to. And this is literally just a drop in the pond. Just a quick little handful. If you enjoyed this video, please share it around. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell if you're cool as hell. Please go listen to these tracks, and until my next upload, watch another upload.